Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the applications of data mining, guys. Okay, so you can expect this question in our examination, guys, because this is most important, right? So when you read a subject totally, you should know where it is applied in reality, right? Yes. So that is what we will be discussing. I'll be going through 14 different applications, guys. I think I have taken the print, right? Yes. So I'll be just giving you an introduction here. If you want, you can just go through the theoretical concepts also inside it. It is written really clearly, guys, because I think it I collected it from a research paper or somewhere or some blog where it was written really clearly. So that is the reason I have just copied it and printed it, guys. Okay. Yes. So initially I wrote the first three types, guys, because in one examination they asked specifically for three. So I already wrote the answer for it. So I'll be just going through it first. After that, we'll be moving on to the rest of the 11 explanations okay yes so the first application is nothing but customer segmentation guys okay so assume that you are running a shopping mall okay yes so your shopping mall is a such a huge shopping mall that you are selling everything so you sell electronics you sell furniture you sell mobile phones like gadgets you sell groceries right yes so you sell all these things then your customer count how much will be there guys there will be a lot of customers right yes so now you got some sale for electronics right so do you want to send it to each and every one or only to the target audience of electronics guys it will be better if you send only for target audience right so your budget will also be a bit safe right yes so this segmentation or dividing of a customer so based on their behavior or based on their activities is nothing but customer segmentation guys I hope everyone got a clear idea here, right? Yes. So traditional market research may also help us to do segmentation or division. Okay. Customers into groups or clusters or segments. Okay. So using data mining, aligning the customers into a distance. Okay. Into a distance segment and can tailor the needs according to the customer. So basically based on their needs, we will be doing it. Okay. So based on the cluster, one can show one can showcase the product to the audience guys to the target audience so basically only to the target audience you can showcase it okay so in simple words we can say here customers are divided into different clusters and based on their interests we will be taking and we'll be sending the messages and any operation you will be doing only based on their interest so you are not going to spam to everyone right yes so if i took an example here of a few customers of buying ac and buying TV, right? Yes, in that way you can write any kind of example, guys. Okay. And the next application which I wrote is a market basket analysis, guys. Okay. So I hope we discussed about this already in the frequent patterns. I think so in second unit. I think so. Yes. Yes. So market basket analysis. So market basket analysis is a modeling technique based upon a theory that if you buy a certain group of items, it is more likely that you will buy the another group of items. So assume that you went to a shopping mall to buy bread. So you are not having any thought of buying any extra thing with bread. Okay. But you saw their butter. Okay. So instantly you got a thought that, okay, so let us buy bread and butter to have some uh, breakfast. So in that way you assumed. So this is a nothing but market basket analysis guys. So basically the, the shop owner or the uh, organizer has assumed that most of the customers who are buying bread could buy butter. So in this way he thought and he kept both of them nearby. So he observed that and the customers are buying it. So that concept is nothing but market basket analysis guys. So that's what it is written here. This technique allows the retailers to understand the purchase behavior of the buyers. Okay. So based on the collection of information to store layout can be changed accordingly. Okay. So buyers buying a bread and butter. Okay. So that's what I have written here. Okay. Yes. And the third one which I have written is a fraud detection guys. So basically even fraud detection can be identified here. So assume that you are a common man right right so you get salary of around 50,000 assume in that way so you are getting every month salary and you will be spending only 25,000 assume in that way half of it you will be spending it and always 25 25,000 you will be keeping in your savings assume in that just an example guys okay yes so in this situation you are doing this for around two years till date guys okay so from two years you withdraw only 25,000 every year so your company will be dropping directly into your bank so in a month, a total at max, you will be withdrawing 25,000. Okay. Yes. So on some day, there is a, there is a, and some transaction occurred, which required one lakh amount of money guys. So your transaction per month is only 25,000. So this one lakh is a bit suspicious, right? So why do someone who is saving that much of money will spend one lakh at a time? 
so that is a suspicious thing so at this moment the fraud will be detected guys so in this way the mining of the data is done so billions of dollars have been lost due to this frauds so traditional methods of fraud detection are time consuming and complex so data mining adds in providing meaningful patterns and turning data into information so any information that is valid useful is knowledge so completely based on the previous history that i told you right so any time when a transaction occurs it gives it is given that whether it is a fraud or non fraud okay and depending on its future so assume that a user always spends 10000 10000 rupees or dollars every year for past 3 years suddenly he withdraw 50000 dollars so in this situation there are some kind of issue right yes so these kind of things will be detected okay yes so that is fraud detection guys okay yes so even in future health detection so basically based on your health doing some visualizations and all those things you can get the future of your of your health right so that can also be done similarly market basket analysis we discussed in education so basically in education if someone is predicting your marks your future marks how you are studying now how your future will be there those kind of things can be mined and observed guys okay yes similarly manufacturing industry engineering so even in their the uh, knowledge could be used and crm okay that is nothing but customer relationship management so even in there you can use fraud detection which we wrote intrusion detection so intrusion is nothing but whenever something bad is occurring with your system some hackers attacking and those things can also be detected lie detection is also possible okay so based on your pulse and all those things it will be possible guys okay yes similarly customer segmentation which we discussed and financial banking so basically whether you are going to take the loan are you going to refund the loan and all those things can also be identified cooperative that also can be identified research analysis can also be done crime investigation can also be done so basically just to go through the theoretical parts once guys like you, you need to write whenever he they ask for four to five examples you need to write them applications okay yes so i hope everyone got some basic idea so in the next lecture we'll be going through the trends of data mining guys okay so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching